Hi, this is Stuart, here to do another how-to video, and today I want to talk about Linux security. A lot of people will install Ubuntu Linux or Mac OS or anything other than Windows and think that they're automatically protected from all the internet exploits that are commonly found in Microsoft Windows. That's being a little naive, while out of the box Ubuntu Linux is a safe secure system, once you start going online, uh, downloading and installing applications, sharing files across your network or via P2P, email or messenger, you're bound to have lots of applications running that are running an unnecessary ports in the background, um, run across f files that contain viruses, and a lot of people think that Linux can't be infected with virus. However, you can still host that host files containing viruses and you can still share them across your network with other computers or uh, via email or P2P to other people. So doing scans for viruses on a Linux system is definitely something that's recommended. And of course you want to stay up to date with the latest security updates. So I'm running Ubuntu Linux 10.10 .10 Maverick Meerkat. It's out in a couple days. You can grab a copy of it and follow along or you can do this on any version of Ubuntu Linux. The setup is going to be pretty much the same. So the first thing to do is click on Applications, Ubuntu Software Center, and then go to Edit Software Sources and click on the Updates tab. You want to install security updates without confirmation. Make sure that you're checking daily and that you're getting updates from security and updates. This will install security updates automatically daily. Uh, it will not install updates for packages you've manually installed uh, from a dev file, uh, anything that you've changed the configuration files for, basically anything that it doesn't think it can automatically upgrade without any type of consequences. Uh, so it's a very safe option to select, definitely recommended. For anything that it doesn't update automatically, you will still get a notification icon up here in your panel to manually update those packages. So once that's selected, go ahead and click on close. We're going to do a search for firewall and install the firewall configuration tool. Alright, once you've got that installed, you can find it by going to System, Administration, Firewall Configuration. First you want to enable it. You can see incoming packets are denied, outgoing packets are allowed. It's going to be okay for most people. Um, but as you can see here, uh, network sharing is no longer functional. I can't see the other computers on my network. So what I'm going to do here is go to Add, click on Advanced, allow UDP packets from my local network. On ports 137 and 138. Now this is my local network, 192.168.1.0. Yours might be 192.168.0.0 or 10.0.0.1. Uh, if you're unsure of what it is, you can click on the double arrows here. Right click on the double arrows here and choose connection information. You can see your IP address here, 192.168.1.6. You want to use the first three numbers here um, and then replace the last number with a zero followed by the slash 24. That's your entire subnet. Click on Add. Click on Close. If you're running any other services, for example, Apache or SSH to remotely connect to your computer, you want to add those rules in. You can use the pre-configured rules. Select Service, and you can see HTTP there for Apache, SSH for the Open SSH server. You can see rules in here for Samba. Um, this is for if you're sharing files on your computer, not for uh, connecting to other computers on the network. And you can see those automatically configure multiple ports for you. Um, nice easy setup for uh, services that are predefined. I'm not running any of those here, so I'm going to remove them. Those were just for example. 
once you've got your firewall running, you want to go back to Ubuntu Software Center and do a search for CLAM. Install the virus scanner. Okay, now with that installed, go ahead and close Ubuntu Software Center. You can find Virus Scanner now under Applications, Accessories, Virus Scanner. That's great for scanning your local home directory. However, we're not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to hold down Alt and press F2 and run GK sudo clam tk. What we need to do is configure this for the entire system here. So go to Advanced, rerun AV Setup Wizard. Click on system wide, save and quit. And then click back on advanced and scheduler. Schedule a scan for the entire computer to run daily at 3 a.m. And schedule your update AR virus definition updates to run daily at midnight. Once those are both scheduled, go ahead and click on close. And you don't need to do anything else in here at the moment. So go ahead and exit. Uh, so there we have it. We've set up automatic security updates. We've enabled our firewall and scheduled daily scans. Those are the three staples that any system should be doing on any platform. Uh, one of the things that I like about Firefox is no script add-on. It's a nice safety feature you can add as well as being a real convenience feature for uh, and not automatically downloading or running scripts on websites. So you get safety and convenience all in one. Definitely a recommended add-on. So click on Tools, Add-ons. Do a search for no script. And add to Firefox. Once that's installed, go ahead and restart. Right. And the first thing I like to do with no script is uh, go to the notifi notifications and make sure hide after five seconds is selected and go ahead and clear anything in uh, your whitelist. And then when you visit sites, uh, for instance, reload, um, go, you can add each site that you go to. There's Ubuntu. I didn't Google. YouTube. So on your first visit to each site, uh, when you see that notification bar pop up, then you just want to go ahead and add those sites. For instance, stuff like double click. I don't like ad tracking cookies, so I'm going to mark it as untrusted. And I'll never get that uh, pop up again for, uh, for doubleclick.net. And there you have it. Now you've got a system configured for maximum security. Of course, there's a lot more steps you can take, um, but this is the start. And look for a follow-up video. Uh, I hope I've helped you out here. Please check out my other videos on YouTube or visit blog.stuartgately.com for more how-tos. Thanks.